Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the videos that I am uploading. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get all my future video updates as well. So today's problem is a tri-based problem. I have uh, already uploaded uh, the concept of the tri data structure in another video. You can get the link from the description of this video so that if you can watch that video and come back to this video, the concept that I'm explaining here will be much more clearer to you. So you will be able to understand that algorithm here in a clear, in a better way. So I would, I strongly recommend you to go ahead and watch the try concept video first and then come back to this so that it will be easy for you to understand. Uh, without any further ado, I would like to go ahead and uh, jump into the problem. Problem is camel case matching. A query word matches a given pattern if we can insert lowercase letters to the pattern word so that it equals the query. We may insert each character at any position and may insert zero characters. So given a list of queries and a pattern written the answer list of booleans where answer i is true if and only if queries of i matches the pattern. So basically we are um, given with a pattern and set of words. So we need to find out how many of the words are following the patterns, right? So if we have given 10 words, so then we have to given, we are given with a pattern, how many of those 10 words are falling into this pattern? So the answer would be for each uh, word, we need to say whether it follows the pattern or doesn't follow the pattern. If it follows the pattern, we'll say it's true. If it doesn't follow the pattern, we'll just say written false, right? So the answer is pretty simple, true or false uh, array, which is equal to uh, the length of the queries, okay? So let's go ahead and try to understand uh, the problem with an example, right? So, Queries. So we are given with foo bar, foo bar test, foo bar, football, frame buffer, force feedback. So basically, uh, we are dealing with camel case here. So camel case means where uh, you have a uh, you have a word or rather sentence you could say, but uh, the sentence doesn't have any spaces in it, or even the sentence has words but there are no spaces in it but each word is capitalized uh, the first letter is capitalized the other name of camel casing is init caps okay so initializing the uh, sorry capitalizing the initial letter okay so in this case foo bar right foo and bar are two different words but they are combined and foo is caps capitalized and b f is capitalized and b is capitalized and foo bar test f b t are capitalized likewise so there are a collection of letters where they are capitalized and there are letters where they are um, lowercase, right? So your pattern should match the equivalence. So FB, right? The pattern given here is FB. So that means after F, there can be several characters or there can be no characters also. That's what we said, right? In the description, we may insert each character at any position or may insert zero characters. So after F, it could be, for example, if, if there was a string F bar, right? Let's say F is capital and B is capital. So it would still follow the pattern of FB, okay? So that's what, uh, by the by definition, it's true, okay? So FB, foo bar matches. But how about foo bar test? Foo bar, until this it matches, but there sh T is capitalized. If there was a T in here, right? It would have matched, but foo bar test doesn't match now. Football, FB, it matches. Frame buffer, FB matches. Look at this. Force feedback, it said, right? F, F, B, right? So in this case, there are two Fs and B. So in even that, it doesn't match or the follow the pattern. So even though they said, we may insert each character at any position, that character must be a lowercase character, right? If it was an uppercase character, obviously force feedback would be getting a true, right, for FB. But in, the, in this case, we are saying false, right? So force feedback doesn't follow the pattern of FB. So you can easily um, come and look at this explanation, foo bar F plus O plus B plus AR. So something like that. So if you can form by inserting some characters in this, 
pattern, right? So those characters are always, imagine, only lowercase, okay? If you remember that point, you will say, okay, force feedback doesn't follow it, right? Hope that problem is, uh, the problem definition is clear. Otherwise we can, uh, we have several examples down here. You can go through them, okay? So as I said, we are going to use the try data structure for this, right? So we are going to insert all the um, things into the try and try to verify whether uh, the given string follows the pattern or not, right? So let's go ahead and jump into the problem. <coughs> we are given with a pattern and a set of uh, string to match camel case, right? So that is the um, thing. So there is one interesting scenario that we need to observe. So for example, uh, these are the words that are given, right? Com competitive programming, counter pick, control panel. If the pattern is C O O P, right? C is caps and P is caps. So what do you think the answer should be? So C O, right? This, this follows, but O P, it doesn't follow here. So for this, technically we'll say, okay, it should give false. Yes, it gave false. And how about this co-op? So co and P is there. There is no O, right? So that's why we'll say this will be not, this is not following. So we'll say false. This is an interesting case. Control panel and co-op. We are supposed to return true. How? So CO, CO mash, right? And there is another O, right? So that another O is here. And P is in panel. So that's what it said. We may insert at each character at any position. So this is what another thing that we need to keep in mind. So if we insert, if we could insert any position, right? Control panel will follow the pattern of C, uh, lowercase o, o, uppercase P, right? That is what it's going to given as true. So we will have um, a logic with the try data structure, okay? Try node to hold A to Z and A to Z we will need uh, 26 plus 26 placeholders. So that means uh, there are 26 lowercase characters and 26 uppercase characters, right? So we need 56, 52 placeholders. Uh, as I said uh, at the beginning of the video, right? If you could watch the try concept video prior to this, right? It will make more sense and you will be able to understand this and follow in a better way, okay? So please go ahead and watch that video and pause this video and go ahead and watch that video and come back and then you continue this video. That way it will be easy for you to understand. So in my try, I'll have two methods, add string and search pattern, right? So we are going to add the string and search for the pattern, right? So let's go ahead and look at uh, how the try is going to look like, right? So this is what, uh, is we will be having the try. So for the first 25 lowercase characters, it will be zero to 25. And the next 26, actually this is 26 to 51, uh, we will have uppercase characters, okay? There, because there are 26 lower and 26 upper. And as usual, we are going to initialize the child pointer to null. So again, here I will not be explaining the try data structure. So try data structure is explained in another video. You can grab the video link from the description and watch there, right? And here the add string method is exactly same as uh, the try data structure uh, concept video that I have. And the second thing that we have is search for pattern, right? So search, we are going to search for the current pattern, right? So string pattern, is being passed. So how many ever strings that were found we are putting into the hash set, okay? And then camel match. So this is the method that it is going to go through each of the uh, node in the try data structure and mark whatever the words it has found so far by following that pattern, okay? So go ahead and jump into camel case matching, okay? So here, if the root node is null, then we'll say, okay, return, I don't find anything, right? So if, if at all IDX, the index is greater than the pattern length, that means we have crossed the pattern length. That means, uh, for example, FB, right? It has only two characters and foobar, it has uh, six characters, right? So that means we have 
crossed two characters that means id is at third character or we can say id is equal to two if that is the case we will have to ser search whether all the characters here are lowercase or not otherwise if it is uppercase we don't care if it is uppercase that means that is a not a match so we consider only the lowercase for the matched pattern right so for that pur purpose and we'll check whether the current node the root node has a word end or not if the word is ending here then we will add the font font is what a hash set of words uh, we will add the current word the so far right the word so far that is being uh, passed so this is a recursive function ca camel match so word so far will be accumulating the characters while go through the individual loans right so whatever the word that so far we calculated are accumulated we are going to add it to the font font uh, strings and otherwise if it is not a word end what we are going to do is append the current character with the word so far right append the current character with the word so far so the current character we are going to add as long as the child pointer is not null if the child pointer is null right we won't be able to add um, that so if the child pointer is not null that means the character is existing at that particular time or point in time right so then we will add so we will call this pattern match with uh, the pattern and the found uh, hash set and the next root the node that we are following going to pass to the next recursion is the child node right child node and then we are accumulating the word so far so this is only if the pattern is greater than the length suppose if you have not finished the pattern let's say right if we have not finished the pattern then we will have to go through the else statement right so this else statement so else statement if the pattern of i index is equal to the letter right the current letter then that means you have uh, the match basically f is being matched to f b is b being matched to b right so for that case this will come uh, otherwise what we are going to do is again this is a recursive call you can uh, straight away understand uh, what we are doing we are passing the root no uh, i mean child node and then getting the um, accumulating the word so far right and then that is what if there is a match but if there is no match right if there is no match it could be even the uppercase or lowercase but if it is uppercase character right we don't care because if uppercase case character comes in right that means that word is not matching to the pattern right so pattern should be matching this is what we are checking here if it matches then we will go further if it doesn't match we will have to check if it is a lowercase character that is the first 26 pointers right that is what we said so first 26 pointers in the try node is lowercase the next 26 are uppercase that is what it is right? that's why we have uh, defined it as lowercase sorry lowercase only if i is less than 26 then only we are going to go for the next recursive call otherwise we don't so with that we will be able to find out the words that have uh, followed the pattern that is given in our question so let's go ahead and uh, go to the main method which will call this try right so camel match with the try class right so try node tn we are initializing the try node and we have we have to declare an uh, array to return the answers for the queries length right which is equal to the queries length and for each query we are going to add the string into the try and then we are going to initialize the found uh, the hash set with tn search tn is a try node and search for the pattern you go pass, pass through the pattern and it will return whatever the words that followed this pattern right and then you go through this hash set and fill in the uh, answer array whether that particular word is there in found right if so you would say okay if it found contains it you return true otherwise you return false finally you are going to return the answer list so hope you uh, understood the problem if you have any comments or questions please uh, put them in the section below.